Hello, hello, and welcome to Brit Reviews It All, where today I will be discussing Sisters, um, season six. And y'all, I'm I'm not gonna say it on here because I really don't know what number we're on as far as episodes. I don't know. I know I missed last week because I was actually sick, so excuse me. Um, I want to say we're on like episode eight or nine. I don't know. Whatever. I'll put it on the in the. Uh, title but just to kind of give an overview of basically what I got I didn't take any notes today so I'm just going off the top of my head probably gonna be kind of all around all kind of mixed up but I'll do my best um so last week's episode um the biggest thing that I really got out of it and what I really wanted to see with that episode was what really happened between um, with the scene where Fatima shows up to Karen's house or, or place or whatever. Um, that right there was actually the scene for me for that. I, I really didn't care what happened after that. But um, so Fatima shows up. They have their whole little face to face, you know, back and forth, um, you know, just saying all kinds of things. I mean, really getting into it. And when I say I felt like, okay, yes, Karen was correct about Fatima entering into her place. Um, you were not invited. However, I also understood Fatima like just being fed up with the BS pertaining to Karen uh, and how she feels about Zach. Um, now, what I didn't know what was going to happen is that Zach showed up. Um, he realized that Fatima left. And then he kind of put two and two together and figured out, found out where she was. Um, so there's that. So Zach shows up. It, I mean, it even gets, blows up even bigger. Um, you know, and I mean, Fatima said exactly what I thought that she was thinking was, girl, you better be glad that you got that, that you're pregnant because that's the only thing that's sparing you right now. And I totally understood that. Um, I mean... It was just, it was like so sad to see Karen like really looking just crazy out here. You know, Karen is not my favorite person for this series. She just, and she never has been. Um, but at the same time, it's like, girl, come on, pick yourself up, do better. Like, don't, you You just letting yourself look crazy, man. Like, what, what the heck? So... That happens, and then eventually, here we come, here comes Avery, and of course, always popping up, um, popping up without even a call, without being invited. I mean, he continues to do this to Karen repeatedly, and I don't see how she's just letting that slide because that would be a problem for me. You need to, I will let you know when I want you in my space. I mean, he's just like, ugh, like a gnat, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so then he comes and then now it's a thing between a banter with him and Zach, you know, and he's coming at them like, oh, you need to leave. It's like, sir, you ain't really supposed to be here either. She wasn't actually expecting you. What you don't know is she actually was expecting for Zach to be over there and that everybody else wasn't supposed to be there. That was what Karen's mind was. So she wasn't even thinking about you, but whatever. So all of that happens then eventually they just like okay you know what we don't want to keep upsetting her we know with her pregnancy and everything so eventually she's just like goes off on everybody they leave mind you before they even got to that part she wants to all of a sudden blurt out that Zach is the father or whatever which I absolutely do not believe at this point um she had a manila folder or whatever and tried to give it to him and he wouldn't take it and she's like take it Zach why won't you take it like I mean just looking crazy um and then and and I'm not gonna say oh it's the pregnancy hormones no ma'am you you just you've been you've been like losing your ish you know what I'm saying um so he never took it um and it just it just fell on the floor he wouldn't pick it up no nothing so they left it there everybody left it there so fast forward, they finally all leave. He Zach convinces Fatima to leave to leave her place. Um, 
they want Aaron to leave as well. So she just wants everybody gone. She's mad at everybody. She's mad at Andy. She's telling Karen is telling Andy, you need to choose. And I'm just like, that's not actually fair because it's not her fault of how those two met. It's not Andy's fault. And that is Andy's assistant, um, her place of business. It would really be illegal for her to just uh, fire her just because she's dating her one of her best friend's ex. That's just really jacked up. And then, mind you, uh, Andy has created a a different some sort of a friendship with Fatima as well and you know they really work with each other and they bond with each other over navigating through love life the work relation the working environment that they're in um with the lawyers and it's very male dominated you know they they really bonded so that's really unfair for her to ask Andy to do that um to be honest with you at this point with the way that Karen has been acting towards them honey you ain't got to ask me twice I'm out of here you know what at this point sometimes you do have to kind of just kind of back up and let people figure out their stuff you really do it's unfortunate but sometimes you do have to do that in this scenario that may be what what Andy might need to do um Dan, not Danny, but um, Sabrina, girl, you got bigger things that you need to be worried about right now, okay? So the little BS that Karen has going on, honey, I'd be like, girl, I can't with it right now. My life is on the line. I'm possibly going to be in jail. I ain't got time for this. So that's that. Um, now, everybody leaves. I think the last people that was there was probably Danny or somebody, but I know Danny was there for sure because Danny was like, honey, she taking me through all this. We dealing with all this. I'm going to pick this paper up and I'm going to find out who, who's who's the dad. Um, so Danny opens it, blank piece of paper. So I'm like, okay, so Karen, what kind of game is you playing here? Like I said, I really think that the baby might actually be Aaron's, but she really, really wants it to be Zach so bad. You know what I'm saying? that's gonna come down the line i'm sure they'll finally get us the the actual results um so that's that so danny is like girl i'm gonna go i'm out of here done so everybody leaves there outside zach is still standing outside he's he's looking down at his phone we don't know why come to find out he's really watching fatima's on uh location on his phone to make sure he said that she didn't circle the block and come back when really homeboy Sorry, y'all, that's my computer. When really you could have um, you could have left and you still would have been able to see where the heck she was. Just saying. Mm. Now, that's that. So, whatever, Zach. I think you really just needed a minute to kind of process what all just happened. So, you saying, oh, I'm watching for team of y'all. Okay, whatever. So, that's that. Um Sabrina, she actually ends up being the one to convince everybody else to um, leave because Aaron was not leaving. Mind you, Zach already said something because Aaron tried to get up, get in his face. And, and um, Zach was like, yeah, then ain't you in recovery? Like, I smell alcohol on your breath. Same thing with Sabrina. She smelled it on his breath as well. He's like, oh, no, it's just one drink. You think Karen wants to deal with that? Like, dude, get on. Go home. Get out of here. And Zach made a really good uh, point as to ask him about his kids. Because, mind you, uh, seasons back when he first came into the picture, honey, you had children with your ex-wife. Where are your kids at? Because you've been up Karen, Karen's tail so much that we don't never hear anything about anything that happened with all of that. His children, like where, where he is and like, like how are they doing? We don't hear nothing of the sort. So whatever. But Sabrina pretty much convinces him to dip out and go. Um, so that's that. Um, honestly, oh, and also um, <laughs> Zach, he he basically talked to Fatima, like to basically let her know, like, girl, you know you was wrong for going over there, right? Um, oh, and also just going back. Karen tried to say that her and Zach messed around in the bathroom at that um, little place that they went and had lunch at. Like, girl, please. 
you literally was digging for anything to try to hit hit Fatima where it hurt and come to find out and I'm gonna jump on into the latest episode can't uh, Fatima didn't believe it however she did get the footage to verify that that never happened so I'm like did you really believe it or you just went you said oh I just went to prove that she was lying yeah okay no I think you kind of really kind of had a little mm, only because of the history between them two with what happened at the salon that time um you really wanted to double check and make sure that nothing really really happened because you slightly don't trust him when it comes to Karen um getting into this new episode I thought it was really funny um I'm gonna get the funny part out of the way the whole thing where Danny convinced uh, Preston to try her her vape pen or whatever that is um, I didn't really like that because I felt like he basically told you you know I don't do stuff like that you know I don't know how my system is going to react for me I kind of really cringed and I hated that she was like yeah you know just try it you know I don't like that um, but I will say that they made it funny um, the way that his body processed um, everything made it funny because here's Danny thinking they finna have a good old wild sexy time that did not occur because Preston started having like freaking out hallucinating you know talking about he's about to swallow his tongue um, saying that he wanted to go outside um, we saw the scene where he's dressed in her clothes the next day I mean he was talking about he wasn't breathing and all just all kind of just freaking out. Um, they made it funny. In real life, I don't like stuff like that. Um, so that was the funny part. Now, getting back to, let's see. I want to speak on Karen when she was on the phone on that scene. I'm wanting to say, and maybe I missed something. Was she asking calling to get the copy of the results because she never actually had them um, to really, really find out who the father is. I'm wondering if, who, if that's who she was on the phone with. Um, another thing, she gets a call or either she called or she gets a call from um, the assistant that why I can't Pam Pam she uh, talks to Pam and come to find out that they're at the uh, salon they're cleaning it up and that Aaron and everybody they had the um, her customers to come out and to help get the salon clean up and once again whose name did I just say Aaron is a part of it um, like I said he is really putting it on heavy um, I'm still thinking that even, let's say, if the baby is sex, Aaron is still going to be coming around. He's still going to be up on her. And I don't like that she yo-yos back and forth with him like that because, like, they keep saying there is something about him. I don't know what it is. We haven't fully got all the details on Aaron just yet. Something's not right about him, but we're going to find out, hopefully, um, in this season. Um so that's what's going on. So now she's like, yeah, you know why I'm coming down there. Because I'm like, okay, honey, my mind, you are so up Zach's tail that your focus is off. One, your salon, that's where you need to be focusing on because, honey, that's how you're going to take care of yourself. That's how you're going to take care of your child. I'm going to need you to be over at the salon trying to get some things situated and take care of your business. You all over here with the BS. You don't have time for that. Second thing, I'm still not understanding why you did not have insurance. Um, I'm wondering if was her business already in jeopardy of possibly uh, being uh, being behind a lot? And when Zach gave her that big, uh, that check, did she have to use that money to get her business to bring it back up or to keep her business afloat, pretty much. I'm wondering if that's what happened with that. Because I, I, they never, I don't think they ever really said, like, girl, what did you do with the money that Zach gave you? Like, he said, they said he gave you a pretty good, good amount of change. But, um, so that's that. 
Um, so yeah, that's where you need to be at. Anyway, um, now Zach, he is up and waiting on Fatima as she's getting ready to leave to go to work, which how crazy is it? He made a point to make sure that he was up before she left because normally when she's leaving, he's still asleep. Um, he just wants to let her know like, hey, okay, it's the next day. You said you'd be needing a minute to just, you know, think things over. It's next day. I need you to acknowledge that even though Karen was wrong for what she was saying and how she was coming at me, you were wrong for going over there. And she she took that. She was like, okay, fine. Um, he did make it clear to her and ask her face to face, are you good? I still want to do what I said, which was to help her with the money that I said I would put up to get her business back going. She said, it's fine. Okay, so we're going to see what happens with that. But he's like, I'm not going to be kiki and doing all that. I'm going to go give the check. I'm I'm leaving. So that's that. Um, I think that's going to be interesting because at this point, Karen has already said she's on the way up there. And then now he's saying he's going up there as well. Um, honestly, you pull up. Drop the check off, get back in the car and dip out. There's no conversations needed. At this point, she's disrespected you. She's disrespected Fatima. You gonna do what you said you were gonna do and then you're gonna leave it at that and dip out. No need to do anything extra. Anything extra that she still needs for that salon, she gonna have to figure it out. Ask Avery since he wants to be up to tell to help you with the financial part of finishing whatever is not done. If, if whatever Zach gives you doesn't cover it. So whatever. Um, that's pretty much all I really got out of this. We know that, um, Aiden, his wife, even though he brought up the, um, getting an annulment, um, she was obviously not cool with that, but he said he woke up and she was gone. So he's like freaking out in the head, like, oh my God, where is she? Because I think he, he really likes her, but he's his intuition is trying to tell him like dude you, you know you're doing too much too fast you kind of jumped out there on this one and you might have messed yourself up because there's still a lot that you do not know about her we come to find out he don't even know where the girl live it's a lot of stuff that you just didn't think about um so he's still trying to look for her gary's getting on um aiden about about her and i'm like well honey and aiden is like sir you you are Andy a whole house. Y'all not a whole penthouse. Y'all not together. Who are you to talk? So that's that. Um, other than that, I would say it's not really much going on just yet. We know that um, Maurice, he has went to the detective and basically is wanting to take full responsibility between him and Q um, about what ha happens and leave Danny, uh, Sabrina out of it. He wants to take the full rep and let her go um i think that they are not trying to accept it because they feel like there's more to it they really think that yeah maurice and um q was in on this but they really think that sabrina was probably the one that had the real connection because of the uh, his name bow uh, i i must that's how i'm gonna say his name um because of that connection and and i'm mad because they still haven't fully said anything else about him um so we're going to see if that has some kind of mix to it or maybe i'm off y'all let me know but yeah so that's all i got so far um so we're gonna see what happens next week um i want to thank y'all for watching i'm gonna take notes the next time like i said my week got a little off because i got sick and my daughter got sick and we just spreading spreading it um so yeah i'll be back next week and we're gonna see what happens with sisters it was really good um but i know that there's more to come and i know they're gonna give us a really good season finale when that is happening i do not know but we will see thank you again for watching you have a wonderful day and i will see y'all next week Bye.